helping create jobs in Illinois. Cut the red tape. After four rocky years as governor, Bruce Rauner has drawn several Democratic opponents for the November election, but first he has to make it through the Republican primary. Rauner is being challenged by State Representative Jeannie Ives of Wheaton, who is accusing him of selling out Republicans after signing bills supporting abortion and protection for non-felon illegal immigrants. Rauner has criticized Ives' campaign as being supported by liberals who think she would be an easier opponent in the general election. Ives is trailing Rauner in the polls by several points, but low turnout could allow her to score an upset victory. Leading the polls in the Democratic primary is businessman J.B. Pritzker, who is self-funding his campaign using his multi-billion dollar fortune. Pritzker emphasized opposition to Rauner and President Trump in his campaign, as well as his longtime history as a community organizer. I started knocking on doors when I was 11 years old with my mother, and I've been doing it ever since, so that's 40 years. Uh, you, there is nothing like knocking on a door, talking to somebody and convincing them, and then doing the plus minus zero so that they'll get out to vote on election day. Also running is businessman Chris Kennedy. If elected, Chris, the son of Robert Kennedy, would be the first member of the Kennedy family to serve as a state's governor. Everybody wants an America that was like the one for the Kennedys, where they could arrive here as an immigrant family and rise from rags to riches, where we're the country of unlimited freedom. If we don't return that, if we don't restore that, the anger and the rage in this country will continue. Polling about even with Kennedy is State Senator Daniel Biss. Biss is running a grassroots campaign emphasizing his middle class background, progressive values, and government reform. So we have our own little Trump here in Illinois. And what we need to do is to use this movement that's brewing across the state as the tools on the way to defeating Trump in 2020 to defeat Rauner in 2018. And the way to do that is to lay out a strong, positive, bold, progressive economic message that will lift people up everywhere in the state and will enable us to afford that by taxing the richest Illinois residents who have been the beneficiaries of two generations of economic growth and have not paid their share. And then around that agenda, we build a grassroots army to win elections and to carry that message. Although Rauner and Pritzker are likely to win their primaries, it's still a close enough race in both contests to make it anyone's game. Reporting for Courier TV, this is Nick Petrillo.